Hi everybody, it's Nikki and I'm here to do a quick video that is personal experience, nothing to be used as medical advice, um, pretty easy video. Um, my tea slim about two weeks ago now, this is how behind I am, um, about two weeks ago I looked down and there was a scratch on my screen. I had absolutely no idea where it came from, I had no recollection of dropping the pump or you know running into anything or whatever, um, but it was, check in my hip and it's in my hand. <laughs> Okay, anyway, um, but it, there was a big scratch. So if I can get that to disappear, I'll show you the scratch. Um, you can kind of see it right here. It was, it's, that's not the easiest thing to see, but it's, it was a nice long scratch right down the middle of my screen. Um, it scared the crap out of me. Um, so I called Tandem and I told them about the scratch. Of course, I was worried about, you know, whether or not I had to prove anything or, you know, I mean, what, I wasn't really sure how to, how, what the process was going to, was going to be like. Um, they were very pleasant on the phone. They had me remove the pump screen protector. Um, and, but not before they had me describe the crack. So basically she asked, you know, do you remember dropping the pump? No, I don't. Um, I don't remember anything happening at all. She said, you know, can you feel a ridge? If, if you run your finger over top, yes, I can. Um, and then she said, okay, let's go ahead and remove the screen protector. Um, and when we did, because I put it back on <laughs> since then, um, when we did, the scratch came up. I don't think you can, maybe you can see the scratch right there. Um, so yeah, the scratch came up. The point is it was on the pump screen protector, not on the pump screen. Um, so that's a very easy fix. They sent me a replacement pump screen protector a couple days later. Um, during that phone call, she did tell me to remove the pump screen protector and just go around with my pump like this. And that made me really, really nervous. Um, cause now I'm thinking, you know, if I already, you know, I'm just thinking I'm going to, I'm going to, now I'm really going to scratch the pump. Um, so I didn't. So I put my, my screen protector back on, um, and have yet to replace it, <laughs> but, that's, but that's my next task tonight. Um, anyway, so I called back today figuring I would go ahead and put this in the video. It's easy enough information and... I wanted to clarify a few things with Tandem today before I made the video. Um, so here are my questions. Um, could I have troubleshooted, trouble shot um, that, scr that scratch without calling them? Was it okay for me to pull off the pump screen protector? Um, and then to find out that yes, there is a scratch on it, or no, there's not a scratch on it, it is, it is, it is on the screen. Um, or is that in any way going against kind of like the warranty? Um, and so when I asked her that today, she said what they prefer is that you call before you remove the, the protector um, and that you go through it with them so that they can ask you the questions and everything else so that they can be on the phone with you when you do remove it. Um, and she said, however, if you were to remove the protector on your own and then call us, she said that would be fine. It doesn't go against any warranty. Um, so there is no problem doing it. However, they do like to be on the phone to do the troubleshooting. I think that's pretty fair. Uh, everything. I think all the pump companies like to be on the phone um, when you're doing stuff. So, so that was that. Okay. So then I said, what happens if, if I had pulled up the protector and it turned out it really was on the pump screen and not the protector? Um, of course, you know, cause that makes me nervous. Um, and whether or not, again, I have to prove or disprove or, you know, whatever. Um, what she said in this case, she said is they are not worried about responsibility and they're not worried about liability. I'm not going to go in and talk about all the different scenarios because I'm not sure that there isn't a way that you could really mess up and not get your, your pump replaced. Um, but in a case like this where you really don't know where it's come from and there is a, a crack, um, she said, if it should turn out that it's on your pump screen and not on the protector, the biggest question is, are you still under warranty? She said, if you're under warranty, they send you a replacement. There's no question. That's it. Um, if you are not under warranty, then that's a different phone call and it's a different problem and everything else. Um, so in this case, it was my protector. It was not on the screen, but had it been on the screen, now I'm a little paranoid. Um, had it been on the screen, then, I mean, had it been, had it been, had it been on the pump, then they would have sent a replacement. Um, and my only other question then was, which was kind of redundant. I said, you guys had me remove the pump screen during the phone call. And I said, and right away, I was worried you know, as soon as I did, if I was supposed to walk around for a couple days without the pump screen, that something bad would happen to the pump during that time. Um, and basically, let's say I dropped my pump and now I really do have a crack on it, you know, um, what would happen? And she said, again, doesn't matter if you're under warranty, then that's the only thing that they're looking at.
Um, and that was all the information. And my cat is on her, her way over here to knock down my video. So, um, so that's it. And I think I'm going to actually attempt to put on the pump screen in a video. Um, and it's not going to go well. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.